Hi everybody and welcome to the channel. This is my friend Gouda behind me. He is helping me cook. <laughs> Say hi Gouda. He's not very talkative. He's busy. So welcome to the channel and I wanted to give you a base tour today. Yeah. See why I named him Gouda Gouda? <laughs> it's currently raining and storming outside. Um, so we'll do the inside first, but thanks, Gouda. Enjoy your day. Stay off the roof, please. All right, he made me some lunch meat. Good deal. All right, so it's still raining, but we'll come out here anyway. Just got to watch out for the bears. It's very pretty here. We are currently um, in a partial polluted zone so that we can farm for acid. And here is the front of our base. And hopefully it'll stop raining so I can show you the rest. But until then, we'll go inside. This is our fancy entrance, our lovely fish tank. They will be doing an update tomorrow where we can add more fish. Very excited for that. This is our little kitchen area. These deviants are in here because they like the coolness of the refrigerator. And then we have our little living area. This house is more set up for um, more of a kind of a combination living um, survival kind of thing. We like to decorate our house um, pretty, like most people just put up, you know, the necessary items. Um, here's our little storage room. But we like a pretty house. I'm currently playing with Jeppy 2. So she helped me make this space. This is our little utility closet where we store our territory. Um, gizmo just a little sitting area here in here is our current work area where we do all of our ammo creation um, updating our weapons fixing our gear making new gear etc making all our stuff, recycling our stuff. And this is the most important thing. We make beer and acid. Acid is a, a big commodity in this game. You need it for everything from making ammo to weapons and all that. We were making beer. I don't, I guess we finished making beer. All right, so we'll go up the main staircase. We don't have a whole lot of cosmetics yet. Um, you know, we've been busy playing the game, so we haven't farmed many um, cosmetics. So our choices for walls and floors and hello. Hello, hello. Yeah, thanks. Okay, go do something. <laughs> are kind of limited. Uh, here's our furnace area, and the reason these are upstairs and not downstairs with the rest of the mechanics is some of our deviants here like to be warm, so they like to be next to the furnaces, so that's why they're there. This is our little uh, wish room, entertainment room. We can make a wish over there <laughs> for weapons. This is Jeppy's room. She did a lovely job of uh, decorating it. She got the battle pass, so she had um, more access to cosmetics than I did. So she helped me decorate my room. Here's our bathroom. You can actually hook this up to a water pipe and take a bath. I thought that was cool. Uh, there is no toilet in the game yet or we would have that. So, Gouda, I don't, I don't need you right now, hon. Go play on the roof, thank you. There you go. <laughs> He's just a big baby. This is my room, so uh, 
Jep helped me decorate it with some items that I don't have access to. I still need a new bed. This bed looks like a prison bed. Gouda, do you not have anything better to do? There's my little cleaner. That's my maid. He also collects things for me. These are all my deviants. You will hear my backpack going off because this area is in a polluted zone so that we can, excuse me, uh, farm for acid. And you have to be in a polluted zone in order to do that. So here's my current uh, deviations. You can only have 20, so you have to pick and choose which ones you want to use. These over here require that they are next to, um, they want to be near plants um, or flowers, crops. So that's why they're here because the crops, I have put some right here and outside. And one of them, I forget which one, wants a toy and a radio. So this is a toy and that's the radio so they're all happy. Got to keep the deviates happy. All right. This is my rain collection for the crops downstairs. I need to put some more crops in here. I have a grow mushroom that collects them and unfortunately I wish I could turn him off for those because I don't really want them collected because my deviations um, need them. Mm -hmm. I just took the sh shortcut there. <laughs> That's okay. Get get yeah, there's my gross room. So he's redoing all my crops. Apparently he just harvested them all. We have our sprinkler system and our grow light out here for these crops. I just kind of added this area um, kind of quick so it's kind of janky and all over the place. It's gravity fed so I had to do some adjustments so that it would go the right way. This is Jeppy's motorcycle right here. She has her own base but um, she put her motorcycle here so she could have easy access to it. These are our water purifiers. They are currently um, making impure acid that we can turn into acid. So I had to do some creative um, building so that the gravity was going in the right direction. So they're collecting rain from up above and these are pumps that are in the pollution area. As you see, my backpack, backpack tells me that. And that way they can get, get the acid out. Same with these. These are getting water from above. And this one is also hooked to sprinklers over here. So that they're auto watered and my little bee takes care of them. He pollinates them. And you can uh, have a chance with, I think it's the gross room, uh, making deviated crops which don't go bad. Which is pretty cool. I like it. So I don't know if you can... We did have turrets up here for purification of uh, cortexes to get um, uh, starchrome, but we've been experimenting. They spawn back here. We've been experimenting with um, locations on the best way to defend the base, so we've been moving stuff around. There is our Stardust drill over there or Stardust, or I should say, our little monkey. He helps distract the enemies so that we can shoot them. <laughs> we have turrets where they spawn. There's our other little monkey. He's really scary looking, but he does a good job. I 
I'll show you the base. This, it's going to rain again. Not a good day to be doing a tour. This is our resonator. <coughs> Excuse me, my sinuses are driving me crazy. Allergies. This is our resonator defense base. I'll show you. Yep. If I can get up here. You have this resonator up here and you put um, cortexes in it and they turn to star chrome which is a currency in the game that you can do various things with and enemies will spawn over there over there and sometimes over there and they will try to get to this and destroy it that's why we have so many turrets around it So that is a tour of our base. I recently remodeled it. Um, since we're going into a new season right now, that guy's base down there is, excuse me, froggy. <laughs> Why are you on the roof? You're supposed to be on the furnace. Yeah, okay. Yeah, we um, are going into a new season soon, so this base will be coming with us, but I may be redoing it into a more modern style, just we've been playing so much, I have not had a chance to do that, and I want to make it a little bit more uh, modern and have all of our functioning things uh, kind of together and have a whole gardening area so they're not spread out. I've just been adding to them as I've needed so it's kind of all over the place. Let's get out of the nastiness. Yeah, it's a little bit more quiet in here. <laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoyed this tour of the base and I hope y'all are having a wonderful day. Stay safe and I hope to see you in the next... Thanks. Yeah, Gouda says stay safe and I hope to see you in the next video. Thank you all.